Hi, my name's Ian. I'm part of the support team here at Zind UK. Today we're going to go through the one kilowatt quick change maintenance. So once the module has been activated, we can then get into the router system, which is menu number five. And then from there, we can go to number seven, which is manually change router. If the bit inside the router has come from the auto changer, it will put that away. It will then switch and go into manual mode. Number seven, press OK. Once the audible sound has, has come on, the message we have is insert new router and close call it with OK. What we want to do at this point is remove the spindle and the hose attachment and lay it on top of the bed. With the spindle firmly placed on the bed of the machine, we can now undo the collet by using the 10 millimeter spanner, which allow us to then take the collet out by hand. Once the collet is removed from the spindle, we can now use the cleaning apparatus supplied to brush off any debris from the inside and the outside of the collet. It's also a good chance to inspect the collet for any damage on the outside. If there is any damage on the outside, we recommend replacing this collet straight away. Once the collet has been inspected and cleaned, it's a good chance to check the grub screw that is inside. Insert the torque wrench with the 2.5mm hexagon bit and undo the grub screw inside and remove. At this point, inspect the grub screw to see if there's any damage on the threads and also to check that the locking paint is intact. If at any point the locking paint is not there, it's time to replace with a new grub screw. Inserting a new grub screw into your collet, place the grub screw on the 2.5mm hexagon bit using the torque wrench and place the new grub screw within and get it started within the thread. Once it's started on the thread inside, you can now place the collet back into the spindle. And at this point, you're gonna need either the roll pin or a new router bit. Insert the router bit, and then wind the collet until it starts to grip. With the 10 millimeter spanner, place that over the top of the collet, and then slightly tighten. Once the router bit has been gripped by the collet, you then place the 10 millimeter spanner back onto the collet and you turn it back half a turn. At this point, the router bit should be able to come out by hand. You then insert the torque wrench and the two and a half mm hexagon piece onto the grub screw, holding the spanner in place. You then use the torque wrench to wind the grub screw in until you receive one click. At this point, insert your router bit back into the spindle and come to the panel and press OK. So now the new router bit is clamped within the collet. On the panel, we have two options of OK and repeat. You need to press repeat again. This will now release the router bit. You can then put it back in and press OK and it now gripped again. You need to perform that three times. And then on the third time, you need to check the torque setting on the grub screw. In torque, insert the torque wrench and click once again. The router bit can then be inserted back into the collet and the spindle and OK pressed on the panel. The spindle can now be placed back into the module
And then OK can be pressed on the panel and your router is now ready to use.